सो गाइज हियर्स द एफ पी एस विदाउट यूजिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ कस्टम माली ग्राफिक्स ड्राइवर इन साइड दी उजुई एम एम जे आर एंड हियर्स द रिजल्ट आफ्टर एडिंग दी कस्टम ग्राफिक्स ड्राइवर इन साइड दी उजुई एम एम जे आर इमिलेटर यू वो सब गाइज इट्स एप्रिक्स हियर इन टू डेज वीडियो विल बी टेस्टिंग आउट द लेटेस्ट उजुई एम एम जे आर माली वर्जन ऑन अवर एंड्रॉइड डिवाइसेस एज आई हैव ब्रॉड बैक माई रेडमी के फिफ्टी आई विथ डिमेन सिटी एटी वन हंड्रेड प्रोसेसर एंड ओनली सिक्स जीबी ऑफ रैम रिसेंटली देर हैज बीन अ ब्रांड न्यू अपडेट वेर नाउ उजुई एम एम जे आर अल्फा वर्जन नाउ डू सपोर्ट माली graphics drivers which means that if you have an old malik gpu android device you can use the custom graphics driver provided inside the official uzui mmjr discord server which are supposed to increase performance and work on all malik gpu android devices now if you guys don't already know what are custom graphics driver basically they improve your performance that's how it works at least in adreno gpu android devices so with that being said let's start off by testing out uzui mmjr on our malik gpu android device so let's start off by setting it up also guys we are very close to reaching 85000 subscribers on our channel so it would mean a lot if you guys could hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i bring similar videos on my channel i'll be hosting a massive giveaway once we reach that subscriber goal anyways there we go uzui mmjr has successfully started and right here the gpu driver manager option now works on a mali gpu android device and you will be able to see that it is currently using my system graphics driver now the graphics driver that i'll be using for today's video is going to be the arm mali g70 mp7 driver provided by the official developer of Uzui MMJR for that just like we do on the Adreno devices we'll simply import the graphics driver once it has been imported it will be recognized inside the Uzui MMJR and you will see Mali Vulkan driver so it should work and let's go to advanced settings here in terms of debug make sure that API is set to Vulkan now i believe that the developer is also working on OpenGL support i have only heard about it but As far as I know it will take lot of time and in my own experience OpenGL works the best on low end android devices whereas Vulkan works the best on high end android devices with Vulkan support anyways in terms of CPU back end we will be using the NCE afterwards we'll go to system and make sure to set the limit speed percent to 400 dock mode has been turned off and in terms of graphics there are lot of settings as we saw in our last video nvidia emulation is set to fastest resolution you can go all the way up to 0.25x which is supposed to be fastest so we'll be testing it out vram usage should be set to aggressive so we'll be doing that ASTC decode mode is set to CPU will turn it to GPU ASTC quality will set it to BC1 fastest FIFO will make sure to turn it off so VSync has also been disabled anti-aliasing has also been disabled so we are using the fastest settings that are provided inside the Uzui MMJR emulator we also have optimized SPIRV output will set it to always make sure to enable force maximum clocks or synchronous shaders and yeah guys those are going to be the best settings and i have also added few more games to test them out to start off we'll be going with pokemon let's go pikachu and as i showed you guys in the intro this graphics driver actually do make a change in terms of performance which i personally didn't expect i thought that it might be just similar performance but no guys if you use appropriate mali graphics driver then i am pretty sure that the fps should increase Anyways for let's go Pikachu you will need to enable controller 1 and set it to handheld and this time the game should be working now also i am thinking of upgrading my mali gpu android device as you will be able to see it's completely cracked so let me know in the comment section down below some suggestions of what mali gpu android device should i buy next in future and at the top left corner you will be able to see it says nc slash mali along with the ram usage and the fps bar which is around 70 at least during the cut scene but what i am most excited about is to see how well does this game perform in outside world scenarios then we'll test out games like pokemon sword as well as pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl though as this device only has about 5.4 gb of available ram it's not really sufficient to run pokemon sword that's why i'm thinking of upgrading my mali gpu android device to at least 8 gb of ram because if that happens i can also try to emulate some high end pc games and high end nintendo switch games for you guys to show the full capability of mali gpu android devices because many people underestimate it saying that mali gpu is not optimized for emulation that's partially true but if we use the uzui mmjr and to to build on our mali gpu android device you guys will be able to see we are almost getting 60 to 80 fps inside house in pokemon let's go pikachu so let's head outside and see how well does the performance stand in outside world scenarios and i have to say this once again i am pretty impressed the last time i tested out uzui mmjr on a mali gpu android device i was getting around 
uh, 7.5 to 10 fps maximum whereas this time you guys will be able to see at the top left corner we are getting around 38 fps which is really amazing and that too in open world areas this is mind blowing guys 40 fps on a mali gpu android device never seen before and it is completely stable and if you get low fps then i also recommend you guys to just save your game file and restart the game and you will get better fps than what you were getting previously but as you guys can see we are literally emulating pokemon let's go pikachu at 40 fps on a mali gpu android device which hasn't been seen before at least in these folk versions of the other emulator whereas inside folk versions of skyline emulator you get really great fps as we tested out with pine emulator but in my opinion uzui will provide you with better graphics quality and less graphical issues i am really excited to test out our next game which is going to be pokemon sword but there we go let's go pikachu is working no crashing issues at all on a 6 gb ram android device so you guys can definitely give it a try and without graphics driver i get very low fps i have also talked about it at the beginning of the video so let's go with pokemon sword now and i am thinking that it will just crash it won't work because as i told you guys before only 5.4 gb of available ram and there we go the game just crashed Let's try out Pokemon Brilliant Diamond then. I think this should work because it is also a small game similar to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu but if it doesn't work then it's just compatibility issues and I don't think it's gonna work because it's just showing black screen. And alright guys as I expected this is a common bug with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond if you don't use the save file you'll be able to see the FPS has gone up and our game is about to start. So there we go just be patient just wait for 2 to 3 minutes and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond will also work on your Mali GPU Android devices which is pretty amazing anyways let's wait until this cutscene is over and i'll be back all right there we go guys pokemon brilliant diamond has successfully started and in 0.25 graphics resolution i have to say it doesn't look that great but still it is very playable experience so if you just keep graphics part aside then i'm pretty sure that you won't be disappointed with the performance inside the uzui mmgr emulator and even if you use emulators like suyu or sudachi on mali gpu android devices i'm pretty sure that you don't get this level of performance because we are also using an Antutu build of the emulator that's why it is capable of using the full potential of our android device and as you will be able to see we are playing pokemon brilliant diamond on our android devices there are no graphical issues but i am seeing some frame skipping or stuttering issues as you will be able to see it's a bit weird i haven't seen anything like this before like the walking animation is not smooth it's a bit jittery but the game is running at straight up 45 fps so yeah guys that was all about uzui mmjr mali gpu version i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out